TMJ stands for temporal mandibular joint, which is located near each ear, whereas TMD is temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. It is a common illness found in middle-aged females from the ages of 22 to 45 years. The reason why it is called TMD is because the dysfunction is found between the temporal bone and the mandible bone or lower jaw. It is the only movable joint on the human skull. The human skull consists of a group of muscles, the temporalis, the masseter, the diagastric, the upper and lower lateral pterygoid muscles. These muscles are used for the masseter of food, or in other words, chewing. The muscles are then known as the muscles of mastication. TMD can be caused by a relocated or damaged disc in the jaw joint. On the right hand side indicates a normal condyle showing a lot of space between the upper and lower bone, whereas on the right hand side the disc and the bone have been damaged. This removes the space between the bones where they now grind against each other every time the jaw moves. A normal healthy TMJ indicates all the essential organelles such as a temporal bone, disc, fibrous tissue, nerves and arteries. Retruded condylus compresses the disc as well as the nerves and arteries surrounding it. This causes spasms, pains and headaches. Once the treatment of TMJ has been applied, a dramatic relief of pain and headaches occur, reducing stress fatigue and depression with an increase in energy and mental concentration. TMD not only affects the jaw joint but also affects the facial shape. With a person affected by TMD, the chin becomes slightly lower and cheeks become swollen. TMJ is surrounded by arteries such as a superficial temporal artery and external carotid artery. Retreated condylus or compression and deformation reduces the circulation of blood to the TMJ and head, causing headaches. It also affects the surrounding nerves which includes the auriculotemporalis nerve and branches causing sudden spasms. Therefore, it is critical to have the 3mm joint space. Normal TMJ has a wide space between both lower and upper bone. In the early stages of the illness, the gap decreases. Without treatment, the stage becomes worse in the long term. When you come to visit a doctor from the gentle dentist for an examination, they are able to detect which stage of TMJ you are in by listening to a clicking sound in your jaw joint and by measuring how wide you are able to open your mouth. Thermographic radiography is also taken to take a closer look at the jaw joint. The doctor will prescribe simple minor physiotherapy that will help for a certain degree. If further pain persists, a doctor will recommend a crusoe splint or orthopedic appliance therapy. This provides a smooth surface where the upper and lower teeth do not interlock with each other. The jaw is enabled to obtain some space and therefore alleviate any compression.